a reprieve for the Washington Redskins. They get to go to the playoffs after all, even though they lost their last game. And tomorrow they'll open up at noon Eastern here on ABC in Minnesota. What a job Dennis Green has done with the Vikes. Then down at San Diego for the AFC. Game matching the Kansas City Chiefs against Cinderella. San Diego Chargers. Great to have a playoff game headed to San Diego. Second down now for Michigan. Leading by seven points. This is Powers exploding. 40 and out of bounds at the 44-yard line as Ricky Powers comes in with a huge 24-yard run. Just a good eye draw play. See, now the tailback will set one way. Now see him set, pause. There it is. No trap. Good lead block by Leggett right there at the point of attack. Super job by Leggett. He gets through there. Now he's into the secondary. Again, there's only one safety back there. He has to make it. That was such a huge moment for Ricky Powers, who has missed games this year because of an injured ankle. He has watched Tyrone Wheatley move into that starring position. Now it's first and ten for the Wolverines. They're out of them. You're in the, that bare defense again. Powers. One of the key men right there. Last year, three days before the Rose Bowl, Everett was injured and unable to go, and it threw off the entire rhythm of the Michigan offense. And when you look statistically at what they have done throughout his career, when he is healthy and able to start, they generally win. One day, the right hand was broken, and so he went out against Purdue and he snapped it left-handed. This year, his home down in South Florida was raked by Hurricane Andrew. He is a tremendous leader and a young man who has played through a broken jaw, returning two weeks after one of the nastiest accidents I have ever seen in football. And yet Steve Everett was right back there. And folks, he's no tough guy. He's an art major. <laughs> and I'll tell you, he's been a major in the Wonderful. NFL for a long time, too. Wonderful man. young man and a great story. Yeah. Bo, did you recruit him? Yes, I did. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, he begged to come because I really, he was small and he didn't have a, I didn't have a grant aid available. Mm -hmm. And he waited till way after the signing date before he came. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You climb down into you the trenches. You can pick them. <laughs> <laughs> Those last ones usually are the best ones. You look, bet. <laughs> look at that helmet. Look at that helmet. He's doing, I love it. Huskies, you've got to come up with it and get after him right now. Take some shots. Bring them all. Now Washington. Certainly trying to get the ball. It's Powers. Powers trying to cover it up and go down as Smith came in to help Mason. It and almost looked like he fumbled it. it. It almost looked like he was fumbling. That's the problem sometimes with rotating backs in there. You know, little different mechanics of taking the ball from the quarterback. Two tight ends. He's going to get back there, hand it to him deep. Now he's moving it out there. See that thing? He almost knocked it out of it. Fortunately, he recovered the ball. Most important reception of the game. Powers to power. <laughs> Powers to power. Good penetration by the Husky defense. There's a football player, Hoffman. Boy, we got a lot of football players in this field today. You can tell by looking at their hats. Gerbeck bringing the clock down. Snapping it on two or three here on this third down. Powers and Michigan forced the punt. So as you predicted, Dick, Washington got it back. No, they're going to get it back. Now, what's your feeling about going all out to block a punt in this situation, you two guys? <laughs> you know my feeling on block a punt. I'll let you talk first so I can well, tell you guys Well, it's you. <laughs> uh, six and one, a half a dozen others. They got a great return guy back there. If you rough the kicker, it's over. Uh, yeah, you, I, you gotta go for a you gotta uh, go for a punt return. And uh, I agree with you. And see then, what happens. And give your give the ball to your quarterback and see you got a chance. Yes, you don't have any timeouts left, but you got a mobile quarterback. This to scramble around. For Michigan. Single safety. There's Jason Shelley. Number eight. Awaiting Jason the punt. Shelley. Stapleton is partially blocked. Washington takes over at the Michigan. 45-yard line with a minute three. It was a high snap, almost over the top of the head. Not a time to get a bad snap. They came after. The rush.
pass comes from the right side. See the high snap? That breaks your rhythm. Here it is right there. He lays out, does an awfully good job at getting at the blocking point in front of the runner coming from the right side of the screen. Here he comes underneath right there. Wham! Stretches out, does a perfect job. That was Kilpatrick that got in there and got it, number 35. Well, good thing we didn't call that one. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> now Washington is without a timeout. They have a first down. Brunel throws high and incomplete to Shelley. So Mark Brunel playing in his third straight Rose Bowl. Two years ago, he was the MVP. And now he has the career passing yardage record. He'd rather have the points leading right now, I think. Firing high and incomplete, almost intercepted as Maloney had a shot at it. You know, when Damon Mack was crossing over there in behind that, and he, the ball was almost tipped to him. And Mola wonders, how could he not catch that ball? <laughs> now third down for the Huskies. Wolverines, Michigan defense doing a good job of trying to funnel everybody back inside. Don't let them catch the ball. If you want to run around inside, fine, but don't let them get out of bounds. Brunel, high and incomplete. He had Bruner set up for the first down. He threw the ball a little bit high, and the Huskies are down to fourth. I'm, down. Su I'm surprised the defender sagged off enough to allow the first down catch. You would think they would be crowding that, that marker. See, they're sagged off. They're in a double zone, but the corner has rolled off. Hasn't rolled up. See, he's back there. He has help behind him, yet they allow this man to get to the first down position. Not good defense. Brunel. Snaps it incomplete. Michigan's ball. get just 11 men on the field. Gerbeck with a tight formation will kneel down and Wisconsin, I should say, Washington out of timeouts. This feels like beating Wisconsin to you. Under Bo getting 38 points. <laughs> well, yeah, not exactly. Not when you get 38 in the Rose Bowl. <laughs> Hey, if both teams really, really played hard, but they got after each other, but good. Right. Excellent football game. Fun to present. scene here with Michigan beating Washington 38 to 31 and next of course it's the battle for the national championship 
the USF and G Sugar Bowl coming your way from New Orleans Miami and Alabama and there is quite a scene being played out down by the Michigan bench right now as the entire football team came over by the band and the student body many of whom have traveled here from Ann Arbor to watch their team win the Rose Bowl and downstairs we go to Julie Moran Julie Oh, Brent, it is pandemonium down here, but coach, you finally got one. <laughs> There's no question about that. Very happy, and this belongs to the kids, and what a way to finish out, you know, the number of championships we've had. They play very hard. We played a good Washington team, as you know, and I think a very exciting game. Well, now we're going to go to Gary Hayward, and he's going to present the trophy to Coach hey, Muller. Get up here. Gary, Gary, last time you and I met, it wasn't as much fun. Congratulations. <laughs> it's so great. We really Thank love you. you for it. Glad to be here. Let's go to these guys. These are the guys. Congratulations, Hello, you guys. Mr. Rodman and Joe holding me out. I love you, Mom. I love you. You got it. Thank you very much. <laughs> What's up, 87 So Street? thanks to everybody. It was a wonderful Rose Bowl. Michigan wins it 38-31. For Dick Vermeil, Bo Schimbeckler, Julie Moran, and the rest of our crew, you guys did a great job. And so did the young men from Michigan. They have won the Rose Bowl, and they did it in impressive fashion. So long, everybody. Coming up next on ABC Sports, it's college football's ultimate showdown. The country's top two teams meet for the national crown as number one Miami battles number two Alabama in the USF&G Sugar Bowl. The Rose Bowl. This ABC Sports exclusive has been brought to you by Honda. Celebrating its 10th anniversary of automobile production in the United States. By HBO. Think you've seen great entertainment before? HBO. Just you wait. By Subway, the place where fresh is the taste. And by AT&T, the right choice. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports. Recognized around the world as the leader in sports television.